and it puts us in a position where we're we're moving towards a war against Iran. And, and we're not really thinking about where is this going to take us? I mean, all of this, you know, the the ships, the carriers, the planes that we've already sent over ostensibly to protect Israel. No, no it, it, they're, they're really in a, in a forward ready position to be able to deploy for an attack on Iran. And we're not fooling anyone, least of all. Iran on this. Iran's been preparing uh, for this for some time. And then one has to ask, as you know, war planners sometimes do, where does this lead? China's already standing uh, with Iran. We are already opposed to Russia and the games that were played uh, with respect to Ukraine. So where do we go? We are looking at a conflict that inevitably will take us against two other nuclear powers, China and Russia. I, I, who's, isn't anybody aware of how dangerous this situation is with respect to standing guard for Israel while they go ahead and uh, the, the government uh, just levels Gaza and kills hundreds of thousands of people perhaps? We, somebody has to say, look, we're, we're playing in the flash of World War III here, and we, we ought to stop. And it's, it's beyond a ceasefire. There has to be a stand down and, and just stop it so that Israel can be secured from destruction, so that the Gazans can be protected from destruction, so that the, those in the West Bank can be protected from destruction so that our nation and the nations of the world can be protected from destruction. One need only go back to the poetry of, uh, of William Yates when he famously wrote the second coming, turning and turning in a widening gyre. The falcon cannot hear the falconer. All things fall apart. The center cannot hold. And what we're seeing here is the, the center of gravity that holds the world together right now is starting to fracture. And once that happens, uh, the potential for uh, a very wide war uh, is introduced. And once it starts, it plays itself out as wars always do over, you know, as a depending on what kind of weapons are used. Well, and those carrier groups are not deployed in the Mediterranean. They're deployed in the Persian Gulf off the coast of Iran. Right. Thank you. You're right about that.